Hey guys, how you doing? I am Chitanshu from Dream Abroad to welcome you to another useful video. In this video, I will tell you how do immigration consultants fool their customers or clients, people like you and me. With countries like Australia, Canada, welcoming skilled immigrants with open arms, immigration has become a cash cow, a money-making machine for a lot of these consultants. So in this video, I will highlight some of those pain points and I'll also expose some of the tactics that these so-called consultants actually use to fool us and earn a lot of money. So do watch this video till the end because this video will save you a lot of money and a lot of hassle. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Okay, before we move forward, I want to tell you that now I'm there on Instagram as well. So if you're on Instagram, look for Dreamers Abroad. Please note, it's not Dream Abroad, it's Dreamers Abroad. So let's connect over on Instagram. And of course, if you haven't joined our Dream Abroad Canada Facebook family, what are you waiting for? There are more than 70,000 people helping each other. So if you have any questions or queries, you can go on to Dream Abroad Canada Facebook group and clarify all your doubts. Okay, because the main purpose of these consultancies is to earn money, they do it right from the starting. They charge you even for calculating your CRS score. They make it sound like it is such a complicated process. Somebody who doesn't know about it might feel the same way. They'll tell you that they'll forward it to a different team and they will give you your score after a couple of days. However, it is such a simple process. It is the calculator is available online on the official website of Government of Canada. You just go there, you put in your basic details like your age, uh, your work experience, uh, your uh, marital status, your, work, your education details. All of these details you put in there, they'll give you your, your uh, CRS score online right then and there. But some of these consultancies do charge you a lot of amount just for doing that. So if any person is asking for money or fees just to tell you your CRS score, you know they're fooling you. Do not trust them ever. Don't pay their fees. Okay, many of these consultancies, what do they actually do? They don't share your account credentials with you. So what happens is that to apply for your, just say your Canadian PR, you've got to make your WES account, your Express Entry account, or maybe your PNP account in, in different websites. So they do make these accounts on your behalf, but they don't tell you the credentials. They don't tell you the login ID. If they tell you the ID, they don't tell you the passwords. There are a lot of, uh, you know, security questions and answers in there. They don't tell you all of it so that there's a dependency on them. In case if you're not happy with their services, you still cannot leave them. I've even heard that some of these consultants sometimes what they do is uh, they don't tell you the passwords and if let's say for example uh, for a few months you did not get your ITA some time has gone by they'll tell you that after an year you have to pay some more amount to them you say why they tell you that your contract was for one year or maybe six months you did not read that agreement that you signed with them and now you're stuck they blackmail you because they have the credentials and they don't tell you the credentials. Now, if you want to create your own profile, your Express Entry profile, in that case, you're confused. Like, uh, should I have uh, a duplicate profile made? Should I have, uh, you know, uh, should I get that de profile deleted somehow and then create a new profile? You're confused what should happen with your profile. And that is a very terrible state to be in. So just make sure whenever you go to a consultant, you make this point very clear upfront that you want to know all your credentials, um, whether it be your uh, Express Entry profile, whether it be your ECA, whether it be for any of the IELTS, maybe it is for any of the PNP, for anything, you need to know your account credentials. Those are your credentials and you have all the right in the world to know them. And, and at the same time, I would suggest to you logging into all of those accounts, reviewing the information that has gone in, because that is your account and you are responsible for all the information that has also gone in. So please make sure to log in through all of those accounts and reviewing all of the information as well. 
Okay, before moving to the next point, I want to take a moment to thank Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Just like I'm protecting you from getting fooled by those consultants, Surfshark protects you from password leaks, email leaks, data breach, identity theft, unwanted ads and whatnot. One of the biggest advantages that I personally felt was that without Surfshark, I was not able to access a lot of Hollywood content on platforms like Disney, Netflix, YouTube, Amazon Prime, etc. while I was in India. And the same was the case during the lockdown when I tried to access a lot of Bollywood movies and web series from Canada. But with Surfshark, problem solved. You can access content from around the world. So Surfshark is more than just a VPN. What makes it even better is that you'll get 85% discount and 3 months absolutely free if you use the code DREAMABROAD. Okay, let me start from the very basics. Do you know who is an immigration consultant? So according to Wikipedia, an immigration consultant is a person who helps people to immigrate from one country to the other through legal and documentation process to increase the chances of immigration for study, work or business. When we talk of Canada, a person who actually helps you get the PR or study permit or the work permit would be an immigration consultant. But to be a Canadian immigration consultant, you have to be a registered consultant, a licensed consultant. Every registered consultant would have a registration number. Now many of these consultancies do not have a single registered consultant in their organization and here i'm not talking about those small shops or travel agents who claim to be consultants nowadays i'm talking about the big shot companies those immigration consultancies that claim that they are you know they have applied for hundreds of uh, prs study permit work permit they haven't got even a single person who is an immigration consultant however they do tie up with a person here in canada and to prove you that, I can show you a screenshot of a chat I had with a marketing agent of uh, one of these big shot consultancies. In 2017, I had, you know, uh, I had my process done through this consultancy in Delhi. I do not want to name, name it again because I don't, don't want to defame them. Now she told me that neither is she a registered consultant nor has a company got any registered consultant. She told me that being in India, you don't need it. If you are here in Canada, then in that case, you would need it. I'm talking about a big shot consultancy who have got branches all over India. When we go to a consultant, we the first phase that we meet is a marketing person or a salesperson. They tell us about the process. We think that they are the consultants. In person, they are not the consultants. After that, when we pay the fees, we are directed to another person who handles our files. And then there's a name that goes in our representation form. I'm sure for many other consultancies, you would not see that representative to be that consultancy. You would see a Canadian name over there, a Canadian lawyer or someone like that. And that name should go in your contract as well. So guys, please make sure that whenever you go to a consultancy, you make sure that you're going to a registered consultant. They have ample knowledge about the process. Okay, many of these consultants actually give us false hopes like if the CRS cutoff score is high those days, they'll tell you that the CRS cutoff score might come down anytime. They might tell you that they know the trends and they understand the calculations. They might also tell you that your job profile is too good and it might come in an in-demand occupation list in any of the PNP programs. So do not fall for such traps. They are giving you false hopes. Apart from that, they can also give some illegitimate claims like they have some connections there in the ministry or maybe in IRCC or maybe in any of the PNP programs. If they tell you so, don't trust them. It does not happen this way here in Canada. Connections do not work if you have to get the ITA, if you have to uh, get the PR. They might work when you have to get the job offer, but not while getting the PR. Apart from that, they might uh, tell you some other claims like they can get you a job offer, for example, and getting the job offer will give you 50 more points, which will help you getting the uh, ITA. Getting the job offer while you're sitting in your home country is very difficult. And if they ask you that they can get your job offer for some amount of money, just block them. 
do not ever contact them again if they tell you that uh, they can get you a better IELTS score if they tell you that they can uh, manipulate the database of IELTS and they can get you a good score if they tell you that uh, you don't even have to go to the IELTS center and uh, you will actually get a score sitting at your home you just have to give 50,000 rupees or maybe 1 lakh rupees you trust them but they are actually deceiving you because they are telling you about a lot of illegitimate activities trust me all these claims have been made by the consultants some of the consultants that uh, actually people have told me about they play with our mind and they play with our dreams they tell us only the rosy picture they don't tell you the harsh reality if you go to them if you ask them during this COVID times, is it easy to get a job? They'll tell you, yes, your job profile is such a good profile. You'll get a job very easily. Your job is in high demand in Canada. And as soon as you land, you'll get a job within a couple of weeks. But the actual reality might be a lot different from that. So I suggest you do not fall for their marketing gimmicks. They are professionally trained marketing and sales experts. They're just making a sales pitch just to sell their service to you. They're asking for a lot of money, hundreds and thousands and lakhs of rupees from you, right? They're not just asking for uh, 500, 10,000 10, rupees. Or they're asking for 70, 80,000, 1 lakh rupees or maybe, you know, $2,000, $4,000. They're asking for such a big amount and you do not want to fall for their trap of this rosy picture. So please make sure you go to Google, you do your own due diligence you go to YouTube, you search for videos. What is the actual reality? Are there jobs in Canada? Would you be facing any struggles? Are you prepared for all of those struggles? Then only decide for going with that consultancy or even think of immigrating only after deciding that factor. Now, because they're not registered consultants, they haven't done their studies in immigration. They're just doing a business they might do some mistakes, they might misguide you. This will cost you your dream. They might even offer you that they would refund you your money, but yes, your dream would be over forever. Just think about it, they might misguide you, they might put in some wrong information if they don't know the right process. They might put in some wrong document and uh, you know, when it is gone through the review by the Canadian officials, they might reject your profile. Please make sure that when you go to a registered consultant, you don't fall for their sales pitch. You don't fall for the rosy picture that they portray. You go to a consultant who is a registered consultant, first of all, and that is if you have to go for a consultant. I still advocate the same point that you can do the complete process by yourself. It is such an easy process, but yes, you have to give time to it. You have to understand the process and then you can, uh, you know, you can go ahead with it. But it is very important that you do not fall for such traps and you do not fall for a consultant who is just making a sales pitch and then end up messing up with your application. Another smart way how they fool us is through their payment plans. They tell us that their fee is around 1 lakh rupees and if you pay them in parts then it is 1 lakh but if you pay them all in once then in that case you'll it will be around 80,000 or 85,000. We think that uh, obviously we are saving 15, 20,000 rupees. So obviously it's the better option. But I would suggest you to go for the second option, paying them in parts, because when you pay them in parts, then you can pressurize them that you won't pay the uh, second installment or the third installment if they don't do their work properly. If they misguide you, if they do any kind of mistakes, you can tell them that no, you're not going to pay any more amount until they fix that problem until they guide you properly and until they get the things done for you okay guys so cutting the long story short there are a lot of tactics that these so-called consultants actually use to earn the money from you and to fool you but it is your responsibility that you take care of your application you go to a right consultant and you make your dream come true if you know of any such problems that you might have faced with the consultants, please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear that. And if you have any feedback for me as well, I would love to improve myself. So please let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you like the video, please click the thumbs up button. 
and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet you know the deal click the subscribe button right now before moving on to the next video thanks again for watching this video